Good evening, everyone. Uh, Peter Beer uh, to the first uh, captain webinar uh, for the Quebec uh, Quebec side. So uh, that's uh, I will be the presenter tonight. I will do my best with my English. You know, uh, if you have any question, uh, don't hesitate to ask it. I think we'll uh, present a lot of points. Uh, so. Uh, for those who don't know me, I will introduce uh, myself. Doc, uh, my name is Patrick Riom. I'm the regional director of Quebec for Golf Canada and Golf Quebec and position since January 2020. I'm a golf professional from the CPGA and um, I, I have been playing from golf for uh, 24 years. And when I began to play, the captain roles was so important uh, because he, we had a, a big black book in the locker room, the men's locker room. And every month the captain goes to, to make the count to have our handicap. And it was so a great activity for me. I was young and I, I wanted to improve my handicap. So I, I wanted all the score that my captain will wrote for me and giving my new handicap every month. That was very important for me. So I, I learned from that and having a captain, the captain for me, it was a, uh, uh, an important person in the club was organizing all the activities, all the giving the all the information about everything. It was uh, like uh, one, one of the most important person in the, in the club. So uh, tonight I'm happy to present that and uh, explain it to you many points about it. So I know you're uh, that's fun because tonight, uh, yes, in English we have uh, around we are 16, 15. But uh, after that, we're going to have it in French and we have 140 person uh, registered for that. So many people involved, many people uh, who work hard, who give the time, are nice volunteer uh, for golf club. And uh, I'm happy to, to have the chance to, to speak about that and speak about the role and everything that you're doing on a, in a club. So uh, first point where I start this, thought that I have. Uh, it was last year when I, I met uh, I met the 156 golf club in private. I, I took time with everyone uh, talking about what's happening, what we can do for them, what and uh, everyone working so, so hard and we had a nice year for golf last year. So uh, I, I saw that the, the two days reality right now, that's a Yes, in the, the biggest club, we have all the, the team, we have the GM, we have a director of operation, we have the professional, and uh, we have all the committee of the club. But uh, in some golf club also, it's only maybe just the pro in charge of everything. Maybe uh, so at some golf club, it's the GMs in charge of everything, or the, the, the director too. Uh, so it, it's so different of the clubs. And uh, when you have only one person in charge, that person doing everything. And uh, it's, it's again, when we have a private club, the, 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 the importance of the captain is, is big because we you have a lot of member, you have a lot of activities to do. And when that's a smaller club, uh, often uh, a public club, you have directly uh, only one person in charge and doing everything and you need help. So the captains, whatever the club you are, are a very a, a nice volunteer, nice person to give time and uh, help the, the golf club to to be uh, to be fun to for everyone. So uh, since 2012, we had a document uh, a document explaining the task and duties of the the captains, but. Uh, we have to, we had to work on it. We we need to to make some change and uh, improve it. So it's what we uh, we did in uh, in fall during the falls in November and December. Uh, I asked to thirty person to give me all the information about what they think about the job of a captain. So uh, I had some GM, some professional, a uh, lots of captains, of course, and uh, many people was involved and send send it to me all the points that they think. Do you need to do so? Uh, and after that, I work with a, a sm smaller com committee, only captains, and we we uh, we did the, the task and duties of the of the captain with that. So uh, I'm it's a, pl a pleasure. To
You're on mute, Patrick. Patrick, you're on mute. Like this, you hear me right now? Yeah, I don't know why it changed. Yes, we can hear you. Sorry about that. All right. So I will continue just like that. So you need to have in mind a few points. First of all, uh, we are not going to reinvent the wheel. You know, uh, you, you have a lot, many person uh, here tonight uh, have a lot of experience, have a lot of of, uh, of time that you, you put for all the members you, you have at your club. Uh, we don't want to reinvent the wheel, you know, at the end. Uh, next is, I don't pretend to know everything, but I have some knowledge about what's happening in golf club. Uh, I have been in, in private club, public club, and semi, semi private club. So I did the, all those and uh, I, uh, I saw a I saw different point uh, on each golf club. So I will try to, to help you on this. Uh, the next one is this document is really open to changes and improvements. Uh, I want to improve it in the future. And having your feedback, having some comments, having some uh, some points that we can add to that document, I will. I, I really want to commit. And next year we're going to do the webinar again and improving the things, improving the points, helping you more than what we can do tonight, maybe. But we're going to help you uh, most uh, as most as possible. Next one. Uh, that's really important that you don't feel that you must do everything in that document. You have to decide with the management of the club. We have to decide with the, the, the golf pro or the GM or what you're going to do. You don't have to do uh, all the words that you have on, on the document. You know, that's really important. Don't stress on that. Uh, maybe some people will say, oh, that's a lot. Uh, some, some of them, maybe some of you are going to say, oh, uh, it's just that. And we're doing more than that. And maybe, yes, you, some clubs doing a lot. And, you know, uh, you need to, do, to, do, to know that there's just some lines. We want to suggest you some direction lines to inspire you uh, at your golf club uh, directly. So I have that in mind when I'm presenting to that. And it's not perfect, but we're going to improve it, of course, and then doing something interesting. I think so. So first point that we want to talk about anyway, I had a lot of question about how it works, about the nomination of the captain, you know. Uh, first of all, I know many golf clubs in the province of Quebec don't have any captains. First of all, maybe having at least one captain and ideally a male and a female captain to represent the member, to represent the golf, the golfers. So that's a, that's a, the, per, the first part you, we need to have. And uh and for most golf club, yeah, we have two ways to proceed. The first one, uh, pretty often, that's the management, uh, that's the direction of the club, nominates uh, its male and female uh, captains. So they decide who's going to be. Uh, so they explain that they are interested, and just the, the, the direction of the club decide about it. And the second way that I'm many golf clubs are doing. Yes, do you have any questions? Okay, I will continue. So uh, the second way that many golf clubs doing, it's uh, the management uh, or the captain's committee or the social committee organize an election uh, of the members to elect the captains. So in a few times, many times, it's a two years, uh, two years contract that they have and uh, they, they will do two years and after that, another uh, election to be re-elected or maybe having new captains. So at some at mini golf club we have new captains every two years, and it, is it the, it is a reason why we want to to have a, a nice document for the new captains for the new person in charge uh, to have a, a good idea on what we're doing uh, as a captain. The captains committee, you know, uh, you have to know that. That's not a mandatory group that we have to create at the clubs, but I, I strongly recommend to have at least two captains and have some, uh, many golf clubs call them the assistant captain. Uh, we need that kind of person to help. If you're doing everything alone, you have a lot of job. If you're doing many tournaments, many activities, that's a, that's a, a full-time job maybe for them. So for you, uh, if you're doing everything and you're alone. So having a group, having uh, many people helping you on different uh, different subjects, 
that's very important and, and maybe it's interesting about it. So the proposition that we have for you about well, what a committee could be composed, it's about at least two person uh, responsible for the handicap uh, who will be trained and certified for the handicap. We can do that on the, the website of Golf Quebec and Golf Canada. We have the link right there. We uh, follow the, the video when you have time and you're doing the, the, the little test at the end. So to be uh, certified for the handicap. So two person, maybe at sometimes that's the two captains doing it. And uh, sometimes we have assistant captain who's doing it. And that is the, the person in charge for the handicap for the club. We have also two, one or two person doing the, uh, the, the, the roles, uh, the roles uh, training and uh, to have the, the level one certified. So we're doing that also online. It's pretty easy to do it. You do it with the, the, the book, the book, uh, the rules of book, uh, the book of rules, sorry. Uh, and that's a, pre a test to, you have to do pretty easy. Everyone can, can be, uh, have the, 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 the base of the information about the rules. So one or two per person, normally it's the captain. The captain is the person in charge of the rules. Uh, if possible, a junior development officer. Uh, it's, not, it's important that that person is not the teacher. It's not the, the, the club professional who is in charge of the junior. It's another person, a volunteer, who will help the, uh, the, the teacher or the golf pro to make a, a nice junior program in the club. So that's very important but because that person will help on different points, different to organize some activities, to organize some uh, uh, fundraise also for the junior, organize many points to help and assist the, the, the teacher or the club professional. So that, that's a, a nice person to have in the group too. Uh, ideally, having a communication officer uh, that's a, that's a, a person who can help a lot because we are in 2021. We need to to communicate more with the member, having the having uh, some uh, information that we want to, to send, and having somebody who can make that for the club. That's a, that's a plus for sure. Uh, and maybe you have to nominate a treasurer uh, as needed. Maybe maybe you don't make. So much, so much activity, so you don't need a treasurer. But if you have many, many activities and that involves a lot, maybe some uh, registration money or and, uh, registration directly, uh, we are, you have to charge it, maybe a treasurer to present just a budget at the end for the committee, that's, that's important. Uh, if you don't have any treasurer, but normally it's the captain's doing to, to make a, just a financial statement for the, the activities of, of the corporation with the, the management of the course. Uh, and that committee helped also about promoting some activities of Gulf Quebec, Gulf Canada membership and some activities too. So all that group are uh, inspired and, and have the information about it. That's important to make a difference between the captain's committee and the social committee. Uh, two things uh, on that. For the captain's committee, the, the captain is in charge of the golf activities, the roles, the handicap, the course setup, uh, the organization of the tournament, and some enter clubs for sure, uh, qualifier and the tournament too, uh, making the team, playing format that you have to decide. On the, the, the side of the social committee, you know, that's the organization of some evening, some events, uh, dinners, dance, brunch, uh, everything that's different from the golf activities. You know, many golf clubs doing a lot, uh, doing a lot uh, that we, some activities outside of the clubs at night. Sometimes uh, you, uh, you have many different activities and uh, you, you, you join it. Also, maybe uh, the, the golf tournament during the day and at night we have special activities. So at some club, we have the captain's committee plus the social committee. And at mini golf club too, we have uh, the same committee, the social committee doing everything. So social committee with the captains working on everything and uh, organize the, the activity for everyone. So just making the difference between. And uh, 
one of the tasks of the captain, of course, is planning. About the planning, uh, you have to prepare and lead the, the captain's committee meeting, or maybe uh, uh, one at the, the beginning of the year, maybe one during the summer, and uh, one at the end, and uh, planning what's going to happen, what, what activities you're going to do, uh, making some uh, resume, a resume of the uh, activity. Uh, plan the meeting. Uh, you have to plan in your agenda about, uh, yes, the, the spring meeting and the fall meeting that we're doing. Uh, right now, we're just finishing two other regions uh, this week. And uh, just be present to have the information, to have all the tools that we try to provide to you and giving the information. So we, you have to, to be present there. Uh, you have to define the schedule of the club activities that's in the planning and for me information about the meeting and i know many golf club did different things some of them doing a brunch some of them doing a five to seven a barbecue uh, a gathering somewhere they have a lot of activity to explain what's coming during the season so the that depend of the club that depend of the the, the committee uh, if they're doing a gathering to explain uh, what's going to happen for as an activity for the club during the season. Uh, the, maybe it's at the opening tournament. Sometimes that's happened. Uh, and, you know, most of the club doing those activities. First, uh, first of it is the opening tournament. After that, the inter-club qualif qualification, inter-club competition. After that, the club championship and the closing tournament. That's uh, most of the golf club doing that, you know, uh, some of them add some tournaments, some activities, of course. Uh, that's important to try to avoid the, plan avoid the planning with the activity, interfere with the events, our biggest events that players doing. But most of the time, your tournaments at your club are during the weekend. And the activities are about some tournaments uh, at Golf Quebec, Golf Canada, or whatever the, the league or is during the week. So uh, that's pretty pretty rare that we, we have uh, activities uh, together. So just looking to it uh, directly. Also in the planning, some activities, idea that uh, I can propose, but uh, I know many golf clubs doing. Uh, of course, sometimes they had pros making some training for members uh, about rules, about handicap. Uh, about the, the, the technique of golf, about maybe the swing, the approach, uh, the putting, uh, the mental side, uh, the strategic side. Uh, it depends on the club, it depends on the place. Uh, that's different uh, by the, the professional, but you can provide some training, organize some training for the member. That's interesting about that point. Uh, second one, a parent-child tournament. Many golf clubs doing that. Whatever the age of the person, uh, that's a nice gathering, nice activity to make in the clubs. Uh, parents, child, very appreciate, nice day to do. Uh, that's something that the, the many clubs uh, like to do and uh, doing also to, yes, promote the, the, the young kids, but sometimes it's more... Uh, more older player that we have on, on that tournament. And that's fun to, to make just an activity together. Uh, next tournament are very popular. Uh, of course, uh, tournament and uh, with uh, with the some uh, some person together, uh, men's and women's. We have a Calcutta formula. Uh, we have leagues. Mini golf club have uh, two, three, four, five leagues during during the the week. That's that's something that maybe the captain is involved in. Uh, an invitational tournament and in team of two, team of three, team of four, uh, depending the, the the game that you want to, to make. But uh, some golf club is doing invitational tournament and uh, the captain is involved in also. And uh, sometimes uh, some clubs doing uh, at the end of the year, an event, a special event, uh, a night uh, with dance and with the some uh, you give uh, you you make a gathering of all, all the members uh, doing an activities though so uh, it's, it's more often the the, the social uh, committee doing that but uh, sometimes it's the captain too is involved so that's uh, some point that you can plan for the year directly so uh, at that point 
The next one, the biggest one, is why it's why we we need someone leaving the committee to make the communication. And uh, many golf club have different way to do it. Some uh, some of them using the, the website. Some of them it's a messenger that you use. Some of them it's the email. Some of them it's the e-golf uh, with the information. So uh, you have to establish something to maintain the, the information and give the information uh, uh, to all the members. Uh, maybe it's a social media. Maybe it's a e-golf Quebec members newspaper. Uh, whatever you have, me having a. a something that the, the, the members can refer to. So that, that's pretty important. Uh, communicate with the leagues about the, the league officials and emphasis the handicap index, the importance of the handicap to, to make uh, a nice competition and a fair competition uh, altogether. So many leagues, uh, it's mandatory to be, to be a member of the, the handicap to be sure that that's fair for everyone. So having the, the handicap, that's a good point. Though, so you, you can put some com communication for the leagues. Uh, response to respond to all information requests from members regarding some uh, some rules, some decision that you have. So you are the reference. So sometimes you, you can give some information about the old number five that you have uh, a local rule about some points about maybe uh, some uh, red red uh, stakes that you have or whatever you, you did, you decide on the club. So giving the information, contact new member to welcome them and provide them some information about the club and activities, you know, uh, so that in using that, that point to communicate with the clubs and having the info. Uh, if I continue on that, inform the members about uh, the activities of the captain committee, all the, the and all what's happening about uh, the region, uh, you know, the uh, association regional of each each uh, region in the, the province, giving the information about the, the regional, provincial, and national competition. Uh, promote the Gulf Quebec and Gulf Canada membership, of course, and the services. Uh, offered, you know, explaining the information sometimes, and I can do a lot to, to help you. If you have any gathering, any uh, meeting, maybe now it's a lot of Zoom meeting, I'm happy to, to go uh, to your meeting and present, taking just 10, 12 minutes and explaining uh, the membership to, to, to your members. It's, it's my job, and I'm happy to do, uh, do that. If you need some help, some support, I can do that, of course. Let me know. Uh, it will be a pleasure for me to explain uh, some points and help you on that side. Uh, also, assist the member uh, in the use of the services. Sometimes yeah, I know many golf clubs decide to help a lot the members giving some uh, webinar at the end. Uh, I have some clubs doing a webinar explaining how the, the Golf Canada apps working, but we have Golf Canada apps in the score center, or maybe JJ Golf, if you're using JJ Golf, or Chrono Golf, you're using your club using that also. So uh, you're giving some information. So, uh, you know, all the information for the app is on the website of Golf Canada. You have a nice booklet explaining everything, how to don download, it, download it, how to use it, how to, to put your name and your folder directly on it. So everything is well explained on the, the website of Golf Canada. After that, uh, ensure the voice, uh, that the voice of the members uh, is heard by the various bodies of the, the organization. You know, uh, you are the person who make the difference. Uh, uh, maybe some women will go to the, the, the woman's captain. You know, that's really important to have someone to refer, to explain, to ask some question. It's the same thing with the, the men's. Is we going very in the direction of that person to have some help, some information, and after that, the captain will decide if you have to go to the GM or someone else, or uh, and try to have some answer for the for the members. That uh, the the captain is really the, the person uh, who can help a lot the members on that side. Now the training. Uh, you, you know, in the, that document, we put all the link. I put all the links of the training. So you have that. So I, I, as I said before, uh, ideally two people uh, per club for the World Handicap System, making the, the, the training. Level one, rules of golf. Two people, one or two, be the reference for the club. Uh, after that, uh, the administrator of the Golf Canada Score Center, 
And normally it's uh, often it's the uh, general manager or the professional and in many case it's the captain too uh, we have a lot of captain captain working on the, the score center one minister he is the administrator for the club for the golf canada score center and give the information and uh, renew some golfer and, uh, and register new golfers too so uh, it depends on the club it depends of uh, how many people you have at the clubs and sometimes that's a job that uh, the, the the captain have on this side so uh, that's a, a big point the junior development representative uh, will try to have an annual meeting with patrice clema our uh, director of development of sports uh, to giving the information to help the club and help in your uh, junior program directly if you have one if you don't have you're not making junior program you don't need a junior uh, representative directly so the at the training at the end of the, the document that we're going to send you uh, tomorrow uh, you're going to have all the links and the information how to where to go to register it directly and uh, having access to that training so that's a, a big part about uh, now about the course setup and the rules so uh that's very different a club to another you know uh, sometimes that's the superintendent who making the setup of the course sometimes the golf professional at the other place it's the captains doing it uh, about the, the course setup and be sure about the local field rules about the, the local rules for the club uh, depending the the period of the year, also uh, we have a nice nice beginning right now. I think the the mini golf clubs are are in good shape. We're going to be maybe some rules pretty quickly in the season, but uh, sometimes we we need to play the winter rules and just in giving the information take the decision for the club. So at the end, uh, mini golf clubs as the captain, uh, maybe half and half. I think so. Uh, of the clubs uh, that's the captain taking a decision and the other side sometimes is the pro or a gm uh, or the superintendent who's in charge of it so and you can work with them also to do it uh, many golf club doing that too we can you can go with the superintendent on the course and uh, mark the club uh, mark the, the, the grass mark the, the place and uh, be sure that the roles are okay and uh, all the lines are maybe uh, the, the, the OB or uh, the, the water hazard uh, have to be uh, clearly, uh, we're going to see it. So yeah, you can do it with the team, we can do it with the, the management of the group, of the club. Uh, it, it is pretty fun to do it together with a, in a group, uh, then, uh, then to be alone, that's not the same thing. But when you are two, three person doing it, that's interesting too. Uh, Answer, answer the application of the rules, knowledge about the, the, the regulation and the rules book. Uh, the captain's committee also is the reference point for the, the members and non-member uh, at some times and uh, about the world, world system handicap too. Uh, so, and you have to know that you have assistance at Golf Canada every time. You have the phone number on the site. I will, I will put it on the, uh, the document too. But you can send email and you can uh, call directly if you need a second decision. Uh, because all the golfers, you can give a decision about the rules to the golfer. But if you are in competition and the golfers ask for a second one, you can call directly at Golf Canada. It's going to be Akash Patel, who is in charge of the rules for Golf Canada will answer to you and give the second decision. So um, sometimes at the club uh, championship or maybe for the qualifier of the entry club, you have some tough decision to take and uh, you, you can be sure also in in calling directly Akash Patel is a, is a, is that you have the, you will have the, the phone number to, to join in. So that's a service that you have as a, a club member, you know, that's a pretty important about the rules uh, on that point. Now on the organization's uh, side about the activities, you know, lots of, to organize. You have a lot of things to, to work. And that's the reason why we need a team. If, if it's possible, having a committee to help you about many points to organize, many points to do. So that's a plus to have it uh, on your side. So of course, first of all, establish a calendar of activities uh, in collaboration with the club management. Be sure that 
the days that you're going to to select are okay in the in the club schedule. Uh, after that, inform uh, about the event dates. After that, establish an operation or a method to enrollment or registration. Mini Golf Club have his own uh, method to do it. Uh, you need just to to explain it to the to your members. When your members uh, know how to do it, that's easy. After that, to to join them and having some uh, some registration. Uh, organize the tea time and make a team uh, if needed. Sometimes we have to, 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 to make the team, organize the team, depending what kind of, of uh, event you're doing. So uh, that's your job on it. Uh, validate the, the members handicap factors for tournaments using this, the Golf Canada Score Center. That will help you a lot to, to be sure that you're having. And maybe if you're using GJ Golf or something else, you're going to see also the handicap because it's linked together. So you will have the information too. Uh, to make your organization uh, continue, we have also the in, we have to inform the participant of the tea time. Now with the, the software to organize the tea time, it's more easy for you, more easy to send the information on the just looking about their name uh, on it, and they have the the tea time. Uh, prepare the day's rules and the sheet, the rule sheet of the day, and the scorecard to for the team if you're doing a, a competition. Uh, inside the, the, the member, uh, organize the contest, maybe on the course, many, go, many uh, committee organize, organize some activities on part three uh, with some ropes, uh, we cut the ropes, uh, some, uh, sometimes uh, every, everyone on the, on, on the green, uh, sometimes uh, the person in the lake, uh, just to have fun and uh, <laughs> make some activities on the, on the course. So uh, you organize some contests for the, for the players, for the members. Uh, you receive the card at the end, you compile the scores, maybe if, if you need to do it, uh, making a leaderboard maybe. After that, you're going to make the, the prize presentation at the end of the tournament, explaining everything. And maybe at the, uh, the end, you're going to communicate and the results and feedback after the activities uh, of the members to the members too. So that's, uh, that's uh, about the organization, about uh, that point that we have uh, in the doc document. You know, uh, our biggest point is about the captain's recognition. Uh, the point is that it depends on every club. Some clubs, they don't have any uh, recognition. That's okay. The, that's the club he's going to, to choose. Many golf clubs give the, uh, the advantage to take the, the tea time before all the members. So you can select the hours for every day before the members. Uh, some clubs uh, pay maybe the half of the membership for the for some, and maybe all the membership for those for those people. Maybe at some club that that's a free membership because you are involved in the club. It depends on each club. That's uh, the decision of the uh, the GM, uh, maybe the the board, maybe. Uh, directly uh, the person in charge of the club. So uh, it depends. And for me, that's really important to have something, uh, whatever is it, uh, to help you, to recognize you, to, uh, to thank you about the time that you're giving to the club. And on our side, you have the captain's recognition by Golf Quebec. And, you know, that's, that's a, a point, a very important point to my eyes. Uh, every time I, I organize tournament in the past, uh, the, the volunteers were so important and uh, the recognition of the volunteers are so important to me, you know, and uh, with that document, I just want to be sure that we doing, we doing something for you and we doing, doing it well, because that's important. And uh, we let them go, we let the, that go uh, since 2012 and many things happen. Uh, you, and happened again last weekend you know uh, we have some captains with the card present to the club uh, don't call before they arrive there and they present the card and two times during the weekend at the same club so that's something that some golf club don't don't like yeah, i understand that that's normal you know you try to to make some business so the information to have the club the club volunteer card uh, of Golf Quebec. We have two deadlines this year. I presented to the, the spring meeting, but 
you need to know that you have to uh, complete the information on the contact list of the score center before May 1st or June 15th. If you pass June 15, you will not have the, your, uh, your volunteer card. It's going to be for next year. So what you have to do, uh, you have to, to, to make sure that the, the, the contact list on the score center of Golf Canada, it's not Golf Quebec because I had the, the points today. Oh, I'm searching on Golf Quebec. I don't, I don't find it. So it's on the Golf Canada score center for the uh, club admin. You're going to, to do it. You, you go on the contact list and you click on verify all on at the top right of the that page. I will show you right after I, I took a, a picture and you have to update that list before June 15. And uh, as soon as we you're doing that, we receive a message that you, you put up to date your list, your contact list. So that's uh, Gladys doing that. She's going to prepare the, the card and send it to the club. So that's the, that's the way we're going to do it. And to be sure that you're going to have it for this the season, May 1st, June 15th. Normally, most of the club knows uh, who is going to be the, the captains for, for men's and women's and uh, be able to update that, that contact list. So here, just to, to present you, that's the score center. You have uh, uh, the, the contact button right there at the top. And uh, that's just an example that I, I took about uh, some names. And you see, I circle, verify all. I put the, an arrow right there to show you. You have to click on verify all there. When you put all the names, you can you put the names that are the most important of the club. And that's important to have all the people need the information, need to, to receive some information about, from us. And uh, you, you click on verify all just there. It's, it's easy like that, but we have to do it. Every year, we have to confirm it. And after that, we're going to uh, do the, the volunteer card. And we are so happy to send it to you. And, you know, we want to, uh, to, push, to push a procedure about uh, the, the volunteers when you're using that card. That's really important because we heard a lot. I heard a lot. And, you know, it's always the same golf club, the private golf club, the nice golf club have to uh, give a, a green fee to give something. And some players abuse a little bit on it. Uh, when you go 10 times at the same club, that's a problem. So uh, as a golf club, if I, I have somebody who present to me and show the, the card and say it's free for me because I'm a captain, I'm a volunteer, uh, as a golf club, I recommend to refuse it. Uh, and, uh, you know, we have to make the protocol that I, I want to show you. It will be also in the document. That's really important to, to make all the, the points that I present there. So first thing that we have to do, contact the professional, the executive director, maybe the GM, the, uh, the director of operation, and at minimum four days before you're going to play. Uh, if possible, avoid showing up in the same day asking to honor. You have to avoid that. I, I, I tell it before. So you, you will ask about, do you have a discount? Do you have a price? It is free. Do you, what do you have for me as a captain of that golf club? You know, and uh, you will know it before. Uh, I have, by example, Manoir Richelieu. Manoir Richelieu is a nice place to play. Fairmont Manoir Richelieu. And, uh, but he will charge $40 for the cards, but that's, that's free for the green fee, but uh, he will be happy to do it. But he, if you arrive at the day, the, the, the day of your, your tea time and you present the card, uh, you will now, you will have no, uh, no uh, discount for you about that. So that's important to call before, explain that you're a captain, you have the card and that's a point. The club is not obligated to grant you a playing time. Avoid asking to play during the busiest time of the day. Maybe you, you are organized with another captain, uh, maybe with some members. That's okay. No problem. But, you know, just, just be sure, just be smart to explain the information. And you will see, you will be, I'm pretty sure you're going to, to have a nice, uh, nice agreement with the, the club. After the game, 
Maybe you're going to meet at the, the pro shop, meet, meet at the club, or call or write to the official, the person, to thank them, to letting them know that you are happy, thank you to, to let me play, or giving the discount, or uh, give me the chance to, to play and recognize what I'm doing as a captain. And if it's possible, maybe one time a year per club. Uh, it can happen two times, but, uh, you know, uh, that's just normal to, to do it a simple way and use it. I know many golf captains tell me, I don't use it, that card. I don't have the time to do it. I, I'm working as a captain. I don't have time to, to go on the on a golf club. So that, that's the protocol that we want to have for everyone. So uh, I'm pretty sure all the golf club will be open to give you something, give you... Uh, to help you giving a discount some somewhere so at the end that's really important and if some volunteers who overuse the id and we know that of course we're going to remove it uh, uh we'll have to remove it uh at the end so just use it uh, as you you have to do uh the document about the document, the captain task and duty document. First, we're going to send it, and a few hours, uh, you're going to receive it. We're going to send it uh, by the contact list. If it, I hope it's up to date for every one of you, we're going to send it to all the clubs too, and uh, also it's going to be on the Golf Quebec website. You're going to have access to it uh, every any time that you you need it, and uh, it will be a tool for you for the golf club. Uh, for everyone to be sure that you have the information and help you uh, to organize some points. Uh, you have the all the, the information about Gladys and I. Uh, if you have questions, if you have comments, you have suggestions, uh, we are really open to it. I'm, I'm someone who, who search to have some solution to help. Uh, I can make anything for the past. I, I don't control the past, but I'm working in the present and I can plan for the future. So uh, it's my, my, uh, the manner that I, I'm working. I try to help a lot, help the, yes, the GM and the, the, uh, the golf pro and the director of club, but also the captains. That's the reason why I, why I really wanted to be involved in that and uh, helping a little bit. It's not perfect. I'm not, uh, I'm, a, I'm a human, you know, and, but uh, I, can, I can improve everything. I can improve uh, many points. And, but I have to know it. And if you have some uh, positive suggestion, uh, I'm really open to it. I'm uh, really open to hear about you. So uh, it will be a pleasure for me to help you if you need by my email or uh, cell phone. It's more easy. So uh, it will be a pleasure to answer to you. Do you have some question to finish? I will just stop the, the, the camera here.